Hello friends, it is Rachel here and today I am here with a video for Click Hits. This is my very first design team video and I'm so excited to share this project. I'm making a little like mini book type thing. You'll see as I go, but first thing is first I am showing you the products I'm working with. So a lot of these are from Coco Vanilla Studio uh, Sunkissed collection, and then a lot of these are from Vicki Booten's Color Study collection. So these uh, were actually divided up into a lot of different kits from Click Kits, but I kind of put a lot of those collections together and am kind of creating one giant kit out of a bunch of mini kits. So I am going to link everything you'll need to know for click kits down below uh, if you would like to check them out. But what I'm doing here is I am dividing up the cards. Uh, I decided to make this little mini book with some of these uh, like pocket page cards. And I think in this pack there were 18. So I just kind of was sorting through them and picking which ones I might want to use. And so the one that really caught my eye was the one that says, the yellow one that says look on the bright side. And um, I decided to use this beautiful paper from Vicki Booten's Color Study Collection. It is a vellum paper that almost has like mixed media on it. Um, and I'm going to use that uh, on the front of this little mini book. And so yeah, I was inspired by that yellow Project Life paper. So that's why I grabbed these yellow rings from my stash to match. And I think they're going to look really cute together. And I love on this paper from Vicki Booten, the vellum paper, how it has gold splatters on it. I put gold splatters on everything. <laughs> oh, well, not everything, but a lot of my projects. And so I was really happy that they were already on this front cover. So I didn't even have to add any myself. So now I'm taking out some of the embellishments to plan what I'm going to add on the front. And what I go with first is this um, uh, ephemera pack from the Coco Vanilla Studio Sunkissed collection. And uh, I'm going to use this embellishment that says fun in the sun. And you could use this album for anything. I will probably give it to a pen pal. Um, if you're new around here, hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> um, I do a lot of Happy Mail stuff and do swaps and things like that. So this is something I would love to send in Happy Mail. However, if I had a specific event, I would absolutely do this for like a little beach album if we had like a beach day or something. But since I didn't have any specific pictures, I think this will be awesome to send in Happy Mail. And I think the recipient would really like it. So they can either... Well, when I receive mail, I display a lot of it so they could uh, easily display this or they could actually use it as an album and uh, get little pictures printed and put them over top and do whatever, take off some of my embellishments and replace it with little pictures. Whatever they would want to do, um, they can kind of work this in whatever way they'd like. Um, so that's probably what I'll do, but you can also make this your own little mini album. It's so easy. I'm just using like these little pocket page cards, punching some holes with a hole punch and grabbing some rings and putting together this simple, easy little album. Now, I personally like a lot of um, um, dimension in my projects, so each of these pages, either on one side or the other, will have a little bit of dimension and uh, something up on foam because I like the chunkiness. Not a lot of people do, and that's totally cool, but I like the chunky projects. <laughs> so I have these little foam dots. Actually, most of the time I do usually use uh, like fun foam, but I thought for this project, because it was kind of a smaller project that I would just use these foam dots because they'd be easy and convenient. So that's what I grabbed and I use every little bit of those foam uh, pages, foam circles. I use like the outside of the foam circles as well. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm just like embellishing each page and I really wanted to use a tab and in the end I totally forgot to use the tab but it would have looked really cute on this book if I did. I'm going to take some of these stars from Vicki Booten's Color Study Collection, which actually, these collections go so well together. I love that Click Kits puts collections together and they know what they're doing and they coordinate it all. It looks so cute, so beautiful, and they just really know how to coordinate different collections, even if they weren't meant to be together because I love these all together. They were perfect and um, I wouldn't have it any other way. 
so I think I'm just always going to keep these collections together because the colors are just so fun, especially for summer. Oh, we're almost getting there, guys. I know everyone um, is in different parts of the world, but I am in Canada. And I am near, like, Niagara Falls in Toronto, like, the Buffalo border. Uh, if you're in the States, um, you might know where that is. But that's kind of where I'm located. And um, as the time at the time I'm recording this, it's, like, it's spring, you know? It's spring, which is fine. But I'm ready to feel the sun on my face. You know what I mean? I'm ready for it to be summer. We've been inside for a long time, so let's bring on the summer weather. So this really channeled that... I don't know, that inner summer vibe. So I'm really excited for the warm weather to come. But yeah, I'm just really like having fun with embellishing each of these pages and uh, trying out different cards and seeing what'll work. Oh, and I also want to say, um, I didn't film the sewing part, but um, after I'm done all of the embellishing, I do sewing around each of the pages and I love to do sewing on my projects. Um, the thing about sewing on this is if you sew on one side it automatically goes on the other side so you have to be really careful where you sew and that's why I just did the uh, outer, um, the borders I guess you could say of each of the pages because I didn't want to sew through anything and then it would look a little off. So that is what I do um, afterwards, and you'll see it in the close-ups at the end. And yeah, that's basically all I do for sewing, but um, I think that's really all it needed. I think it, I think this turned out to be a really, really fun project. Um, I want to make another one of these. It was so easy, and these turn out so cute, especially with these the little cards. They're already cute and all pretty, uh, all for you already. So there's not much work that needs to be done, but overall, I love how this project looks. And sorry, I'm just fiddling to put the everything together. I'm so glad I went with the yellow, um, with the yellow rings. Um, something I love to add to projects is uh, like tiny word stickers, and I forgot to do that, so that's what I'm just doing now. Going back, adding that little final touch, and um, seeing what other little final touches it needs. And uh, yeah, so here are the close-ups. Again, I love that gold foil. Uh, I just put a tassel on there from my stash. I just thought it would look cute with a tassel on the side. And uh, yeah, you can see my sewing there. It, it doesn't add much, but I think it adds just the right amount and I love it. So I will leave all the links down below for click kits. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had such a blast with this project and I hope it inspired you. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!